This is just a quick overview and how-to for the InstaFrame Photoshop set. This is not Adobe Photoshop Elements friendly, so do be sure you have Adobe Photoshop if you want to use this set. And when you download the file and open up the PSD, there are 25 different frames, each inside their own folder, and there is a reference PDF included that will show you what name of the frame relates to the particular image of the frame, so if you want to quickly find a certain style of frame, be sure to open up that PDF and just check that out. But I'm going to open up frame number one here so we can show you how to use this. So inside this frame folder, there's the actual frame itself. There's the frame inner shadow, but I'm actually going to place an image inside the frame here first. So I'm going to go to file and then place embedded. You could also drag and drop or just copy and paste an image in. It doesn't really matter how you choose to do that. But I'll select this image of a mountain right here and I'll just size it to be appropriate for the actual frame that I'm putting it inside. And you want to make sure you just take your image right here and drag it into the artwork here folder. And the artwork here folder is masked out, so we'll go ahead and mask your image for you right away so it looks good inside that frame. But I'll zoom into 100% here so you can see how this looks up close. So the frame inner shadow is the actual shadow that goes along the inside edge of the frame. You can turn that on or off. I find it adds a nice little bit of depth here. But if you double click on this inner glow, you can adjust the choke, which is how harsh it actually appears. So very little choke will make that shadow look very soft, where if you turn that choke up pretty high, it becomes a very harsh edge. I tend to like it a lot better when it's pretty darn low. And the size right here just affects how big the actual shading is. I tend to keep it a little bit smaller just to give that slight appearance of depth of the actual frame here. And then there's the frame shadow, which just affects the overall shadow that's dropped along the outside edges of the frame. If you double click on the drop shadow, you can adjust the opacity to be either darker or lighter. You might want to adjust this a little bit when you're placing on certain images to make sure that the actual shadow stands out. You can adjust the distance of the shadow if you want to, and you can also change the overall size of the shadow if you want it to blur out a little bit more or less. You can go ahead and do that pretty easily. And these frames really are intended for use as digital presentation. So if you're looking for really large frames to print on a printer, for example, these might not be too great as the overall size of most of these images are roughly 1500 pixels on their longest side by roughly 1000 pixels tall or wide, kind of depending on what kind of image it is. So do keep that in mind when you're considering the set. But there's 25 different frames to pick from. It's really quick and easy just to drag and drop images in. And if you have any questions when you're using the set, don't hesitate to ask on either the comments section of this video or on the actual product page where you purchase the set. And I will include a free frame to download so you can actually check these out and make sure it suits your needs before you purchase the entire pack. So be sure to read the description on the product page to find the link to download your free frame. But that's it for this set. Thanks for watching.